entering the cage first into the red corner. Please make some noise for James Cameron. <laughs> Please make up some noise for Josh Kirby. Contest is his debut. Please make some noise for James Cameron. And his opponent, the fighter, in the blue corner, weighing 78.8 kilograms. Fights out of Simki Martial Arts and Gracie Baja with a record of one win and no losses. Please make some noise for Josh Kirby. Toughest guys in the game has fought pretty much everyone south of 155 pounds and a couple north, I believe, as well. And here we go. We touch gloves to start. Kirby, the rangier, taller fighter. Nice straight right hand there from Kirby. Listening to his corner, who instructed straight away to work behind that. Test in the waters with that jab. Very composed start from both men here, Steve. Just weighing the other up. Absolutely. Cameron landing a few, few little leg shot, leg kicks, just looking to gauge distance. No real venom on them, but making sure he's in place. Oh, Kirby leg kick and swarms in with punches looking for the double leg but content to take the body log reaps the leg looking to take the taller man to the canvas the referee Neil Hall just warning Josh Kirby about grabbing that fence there it's an instinctive reaction it's one of those things that you have to train yourself out of it as a professional Kirby working to try and get off the fence now stomping the foot landed an uppercut to the body a moment ago that wasn't too bad but James Cameron pushing heavy, staying heavy, good head position. Yeah, he's got his head in the pocket there. Really does prevent much in the way of turning and twisting. and just allows you to control the neck and head of your opponent. If you control where the head goes, you control where the body goes. And this really is preventing Kirby from getting into the flow of things here. Absolutely, taking, taking away some of those physical advantages that his height have, to making it a bit of an ugly fight. 
Trying to work now for the single. Gives it up. And bullies him against the gate. A little hip toss, and he ends up in side control from it. Yeah, beautiful stuff there from James Cameron. Bit of a Haragoshi there. Takes his man to the mat, and immediately, again, negating that height and reach advantage, which he's done pretty well by keeping things in close. He's going to look for Neon Belly here. He may find it difficult to pass, though, due to the cage position. Drops back for a knee bar. But nice scramble there, Kirby. Now Kirby's in a standing, throwing, throwing some venomous leg kicks. It'll be very interesting to see what Kirby does here. If he's going to try and get into a top control position on the ground, or is he content to strike and wait for the stand-up? Uh, referee Neil Hall looking close. It can't can't keep this going on too, too long. Cameron looking over the referee with a, what the, come on. No, it's not going to get him anywhere with Neil Halls. Well, one of the best officials in the game. Certainly won't be dictated to by a fighter. Very competitive first round out of, out of both these guys. Absolutely. Cameron fighting a very intelligent fight there. Yeah, 100%. You know, he, he uh, tried to close the distance very quickly. Uh, he kept his man pinned up against the cage wall for most of that. We saw him looking for takedowns. He eventually got one uh, over on the far side there, right against the cage. Good work indeed from James Cameron to, to negate the height and reach advantage. Kirby's calling the throwing ice at us now here at the commentary <laughs> position. No, no call for that. Interesting to note, we see uh, one of the top professional light, well, former lightweights now, featherweight team, the Experiment Wild, here showing his support for Josh Kirby. And when you talk about guys who are masters of that striking game and masters of movement and angles, I'm sure he's got some good advice for Kirby as he looks to rack up his second amateur win against the debutant James Cameron. And you've got to give James Cameron credit. You know, he's obviously putting a lot of hours in the gym in between directing Hollywood blockbusters, so. Absolutely, you know, implemented his game plan on, uh, as well as the Titanic, who can forget? Bit too long for my life. <laughs> Great soundtrack, though. The problem was I knew how it was going to end. Spoiler alert. James Cameron looking to sink Josh Kirby here in the second round. Threw a massive massive right hand there didn't connect but allowed him to close the distance get get him those arms around the body look for the body lock and here we are working against the cage again exactly this is exactly where he, he had the fight in the first round and it's clearly the game plan going in and why wouldn't it be against the guy w with the height and reach of josh kirby i believe that um steve mccoom has a judo background as well so i expect that's where this kind of game plan is coming from and it's a, it's a good game plan for that kind of body type as well. Absolutely. He's a shorter guy, he's a stockier guy. He can use that weight, low center of gravity, uh, and he's going to be looking for a, you know, a, a trip or, or perhaps a hip toss again. And, and it's, it, he, he's not just resting against the cage there. He is constantly making Kirby work, constantly making Kirby think, constantly switching positions, doing everything he can to maintain this position. The, the, this, these guys are working hard. Absolutely, you know, you'll see Kirby, you know, grabbing the wrist. Oh, but Kirby now able to affect top position briefly. And very similar to an exchange we saw in the first round there, Steve. Yeah, and now we're, as the first round ended, we've still got a minute and a half here. Put the referee standing him up. Yeah, a good call from Neil there. We saw that in the first round. It wasn't really going anywhere and didn't look like it would again. You know, if, if maybe we're in a situation there where Kirby was going to, you know, try and jump over the guard or, or try and dive in, let them play with it, but he's obviously happy and content to just throw the kick. So good call from Neil to stand them up, keep the action flowing. Really, and Kirby uh, on the feet. Kirby is starting to look, starting a little. Co Sorry, I missed what happened there. Uh, I believe Cameron. Um, Perhaps was indicating that he got poked in the eye there, and, and I think Neil maybe said, I, "I didn't see it. You got to carry on fighting." So, oh, nice body kick there from James Cameron. Ripped that in, very nice. Oh, and the question mark kick as well. Nice. Not something you see uh, particularly often, uh, especially from guys with a grappling background. Absolutely. The question mark kick. It looks like it's going to the body at the last minute of the extension of the knee. You flick it up over the guard, 
down onto the side of the head or the neck. Anyone who's watched K1 circa 2005-2007 will know there's a guy called Glaube Fitosa who mastered that kick, knocked many, many a great striker out with it. You know, it's what I'm really appreciating here about watching Cameron is the fact that oh, oh, even big though right he hand. just did it, he is still constantly trying to walk his man back to that cage. He's trying to take that distance away. And that, that's a dangerous game to play with a striker who's got reach on you. Absolutely. If, if a guy with that kind of reach and that kind of height advantage is doing the right thing, what, what they're doing is making you take two steps toward them before they throw a strike. Cameron's effectively negating that by, by just charging him down, and, and he's done it well. And I think perhaps Kirby now needs to go on the offensive a little bit more. I think perhaps he's got it into his head that he's going to get put on the cage, and he, he's thinking maybe too far ahead of how do I get out of the cage. He needs to strike when Cameron's on the way in. And stay, time to start fighting to the beat of his drum, because right now Cameron is trying to set the pace of this fight throughout. 100%. Uh, and look, you know, we just saw him land the great straight right hand there, and that's a fantastic weapon to use against the shorter guy who's coming in. You can time it perfectly, pop the jab out there, right hand behind it. He needs to get going. He needs to put his foot on the gas. I'm sure that's what his corner are telling him. I can see Tim Wilde there in the corner giving instruction as well. There's a lot of finger pointing and gesticulating going on. That usually means going into a third round. You need to put your foot on the gas. You need to take this fight. And the third stanza gets underway. Kirby in the black shorts, blue gloves, facing James Cameron in the red. Interesting two rounds so far. Kirby needs to be a little bit more proactive here. And again, Cameron doing, trying to cut the cage off, trying to take that space away from Kirby. And you're right, because Kirby's not throwing, it makes it easier for him to keep walking him back into that cage. And there we go, there's the one two. That's what he needs to do more of. And you see Kirby there, you know, laughing that head kick off because he was able to block it. He's obviously very confident with his striking. He just needs to let go now. Yeah. He needs to let those hands loose and the leg kick there as well. Caught him right on the meat of the thigh. Perfect leg kick. Took, took the balance away from his man. Needs to forward it up with a right hand. Absolutely. Just stay a little more busy with these strikes now. Right low kick, left hook behind it. Of course, that's easier said than done. We're not the ones in the cage. Absolutely. Every, everyone's an armchair coach, but you know, the, the game plan here seems pretty clear to me, and that's exactly what the corner are calling for. Absolutely. And for the opening part of the round, this, this is the first time you could clearly say that it was probably Kirby's first minute. Oh! Beautiful right hand again from Kirby. He's starting to get his confidence here. He's starting to find a home for these strikes. That hand speed is very, very quick. That straight right is sudden. He's got a throwing combination that, you know, the, the one shots aren't going to cut it here. He needs to start striking with volume, setting that right hand up. Yeah, good. every time he takes that extra second, that's another second that Cameron is dictating the pace of this fight again. Body kick there. You know, if you can tempt Cameron in, let, let's see the right uppercut as well. Yeah, the blue corner screaming it in him to fight your distance, fight your distance. Got to be coming into the final third of this fight. Oh, and a snapping right hand there just missed from Josh Kirby. A bleak kick to the knee. Cameron answering with a teeth, trying to teak the body. Yeah, you know, I get the sense that Josh Kirby's style is going to be really well suited to pro when he's got yeah. that 15 minutes to play with because he's going to chip away at guys and wear them down. He's got that first five minutes to feel them out. Yeah. Warm up, loosen up. Yeah, I mean, he's really starting to pick the pace up a little bit now, but I. Could it be a case of too little, too late with the nine minutes? Yeah, I, I think I think perhaps 
he's going to find himself on the wrong side of a decision here, but an exciting fight, a very, very tense fight, especially in that third round. We'll go to the judge's decision in a moment, but could be a heck of a debut for James Cameron. Oh, absolutely, un undoubtedly. Uh, and again, Steve, you know, it's one of those fights where both guys are going to have a lot to take away from it. Um, as I say, my prediction is that James Cameron will get his hands raised, but, but certainly no shame in the performance for Josh Kirby there. And as we've said a number of times this evening, for uh, an amateur earlier in their career, a heck of a lot to learn. Absolutely. And a hell of a fight. After three close rounds of action, we go to the judges' scorecard. And we have your winner via unanimous decision to the fighter in the blue corner, Josh Kirby. And please make some noise for James Cameron. We're here with Josh Kirby. Josh, and a unanimous decision win against a very game opponent. What was the game plan coming in here? Um, just, just keep him long, stick to my job, and try and keep him a distance. I think we knew he was going to try and take it down. So. Uh, I believe you called him a tough son of a gun just a minute ago. Were you surprised at just how? Yeah, I thought the idea thought he'd all be able to take much ball. He's so good. <laughs> 2-0 now, you've got to be happy. Anybody you want to give a shout out to, anyone you want to thank? Thank you, thank you to everyone at Simply Martial Arts Academy. Do be in this one. Thank you, everyone. Uh, family, friends, have supported me. Thank you. Give it up for your winner, Josh Kirby, please, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs>